In this time of year, when so many of us enjoy the winter break and holiday celebrations, I wish you season's greetings. And because there have been quite a few noteworthy events that have taken place over the past few weeks, I also provide you with a final campus update for 2023. In early November, hundreds of us gathered in the Student Center Ballroom for my first university-wide address. We talked about the important role that Wayne State plays for our community in empowering mobility for our Michigan students and an opportunity to expand our approach to student success to benefit even more of our students. In a new initiative we're calling College to Career, Wayne State currently provides many of the learning by doing experiences that complement the deep learning that results through engaging with our outstanding faculty. Project-based learning and fieldwork, internships, micro-externships and co-ops, global experiences and study abroad, community service or entrepreneurship learning, research in the field, in the laboratory, and other settings. The goal of this initiative is to increase and make more visible these experiences and to draw our community stakeholders into these efforts even further. That will help us to garner additional support and resources. Imagine job shadowing, mentoring by our alumni leaders, intentional networking. These opportunities are almost endless. We're looking forward to connecting the many college to career experiences we already do as an institution. These set us apart from other universities and are a real advantage in attracting more students to Wayne State. We're looking forward to getting this initiative started under Vice President Ezzedine's leadership, including engaging the campus to inventory our current efforts and chart this expanded student success approach. A few weeks ago, we received some exciting news that will help frame an even more exciting future for Wayne Law. The university received a $30 million capital project grant to help anchor a new world-class facility. This level of financial commitment from the state of Michigan is a testament to the school's growth, trajectory, and impact on our community. Wayne Law has always been a great contributor to our city and our state. In fact, nearly 80% of the law school's alumni live and work in Michigan. The next step is beginning to flesh out options and build additional resources to support the exciting vision that Wayne Law has developed to make an even bigger impact on our city and state. The Association of Public and Land-Grant Universities recently extended Wayne State's Innovation and Economic Prosperity designation for five years. What does this mean? Well, this designation honors higher education institutions that have demonstrated a commitment to and strategy for regional economic engagement and growth and economic opportunity. For example, there are currently 28 interns at TechTown, Wayne State's research and technology park, getting a great experience in a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem. As one of only 85 universities nationwide to receive this designation among the 2,000 and plus higher education institutions, Wayne State is fueling innovation and business competitiveness for our region. This designation is all about how Wayne State is truly in our community, how we work for our community, and that we do so with our community. We recently announced that Wayne State has concluded an exploratory assessment study on a possible school devoted to advancing public health of our community. To kick off the planning phase of this initiative, a forum that included faculty and academic staff was convened on November 30th by Acting Provost Lori Claybo. The widespread enthusiasm for a community-focused new school was palpable. I commend Provost Claybo, Vice President Schweitzer, and the School of Public Health Exploratory Committee for their hard work in evaluating this opportunity and helping to get this initiative started. Next steps? I will now lead a team to procure financial and space resources to support this effort, and Dr. Schweitzer, in collaboration with Provost Claybo and the Academic Affairs Leadership, will focus on spearheading the next phase of academic planning utilizing campus-wide committees to flesh out the needed elements. We are in the very early phase of this effort, and it will take considerably more time in the coming months in order for us to achieve our goals. Planning progress will be shared routinely, and a new website is in progress. This new public health endeavor represents the next logical step to align and expand Wayne State's academic, clinical, and research activities in this area, which will greatly benefit our students, our faculty, and our city. Finally, I want to end the way I began with best wishes to all of you and your families during this holiday season. As the celebrations of many different family and cultural traditions unfolds, 
This winter season is a time of gratitude, joy, reflection, and renewal. In that spirit, we celebrate our winter commencement ceremonies, where more than 3,100 Wayne State Warriors are eligible to graduate. Graduation is one of my favorite academic events, and this will be my first as your president. What an exciting way to end 2023. I'm thankful this year for the opportunity to lead this great institution and to get to know our talented students, our wonderful faculty and staff, and our welcoming community. I'm looking forward to the new year and the incredible opportunities that await us all. In the meantime, I hope you're able to spend some time with family and friends, enjoy some downtime, and reflect on the blessings in your life. Happy holidays and happy new year.